One of the questions we're often asked is, what can I expect from the program? And we tend to refer to two or three words that I think summarize the program overall. First of all, you can expect the Master of Teaching and Learning to be demanding. The requirements for you are, and if I outline, first of all, what you're going to do is your subject learning is typically confined to two days a week. So it might be, we try to concentrate your subject learning on maybe a Tuesday and a Wednesday or a Wednesday and a Thursday. At the same time as having subject learning on campus, through the first three phase, phases, you're expected to be in a school, which we identify, one day a week. So that might be that on, on Monday of each week you'll be in the school. And what's expected is that the subject learning, which has uh, an integrated focus around the, the theme of each phase and semester, is then applied within the context of your one day experiences in schools. So that means that over a typical semester, you might be in that school for seven or eight days a week. And on top of that, what you're going to do is you're going, you will be doing a condensed curriculum. So in phase one or semester one, that, that practicum is three weeks long. In phase two, it's four weeks long. In phase three, it's five weeks long. And then in your final semester, you do what's called a summative internship or a service learning experience. So keep in mind that the commitment from you then requires you to be able to balance your on-campus subject learning with your school-based experiences. Obviously, if you're part-time, it might be that, there's, that there'll be flexibility and other options that are necessarily. But for the, the typical student, that three-day-a-week commitment plus on top of, that, top of that, the practicum experience becomes quite a challenge. Balancing that workload requires you to have a very clear mindset from the beginning that this is certainly doable and achievable, but it's not a soft option. I guess the other thing that we say is that the experience of the Master of Teaching and Learning, primarily because of the integrated nature of the course, but also because of the high emphasis on field-based experiences throughout the program, not just the practicum experiences, but because you're in schools all the way through the program, and because of the cohort nature of the program, where you're going to be working with uh, a, a group of people that, and having a shared experience over your program, you'll find the program exceptionally rewarding. It's very clear already from the graduates that are coming out of the program that the nature of the program is allowing them to be day, day one ready and to be candidates that are seen to be highly sought after by our partners.